Fellas, we have gotten the news here today that Pat McAfee is making his way out of WWE. Could be momentarily. We don't know how long he will be out for. Probably the whole football season, honestly. As we all know, NCAA college football is making his way uh, to just start the season. And then we also have the NFL making its way on the beginning of September, I believe. So uh, Pat McAfee does have to exit. Um, and it's one of those things where a lot of people are beginning to turn on Pat McAfee. I don't really know what's going on, but Kenny is one of those people who have kept it real the whole time, the whole Pat McAfee run. So, Kenny, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a take a shot at you first, bro. Let me know how you're feeling on this Pat McAfee news. Is it good? They are bringing in another guy, which we will be getting into soon. But let's go ahead and get to Kenny. Now, it could be good. I mean, we don't know who the other guy is. It yeah. could be just as bad. But you you know what? You, you pointed it out. I was never on the Pat McAfee train, was never a Pat McAfee fan. I think the guy just does too much. Like, um, you're supposed to be focused on the wrestlers in the ring. I feel like when he's out there, he wants you to focus on him. He's just yelling, screaming, going crazy, standing on top of the table. Y'all know when Jay Uso is riling up the crowd, Pat McAfee's on top of the table riling up the crowd. So, you know what? I know it's not going to be for long, but any Pat McAfee break for me is a great good a great time. So <laughs> hopefully he stays out. You know, hopefully he enjoys his time off and he's like, you know what, maybe I don't want to do that WWE stuff anymore. And he stays out away forever. He ruined the whole DLC pack for WWE 2K24. To be honest with y'all, I haven't played the game and since. And he joked about it. Just because he joked about it, yeah. Went on the podcast, buried everybody. But, I mean, he completely took me out of that game. So I can't wait for the next one. So <laughs> maybe I get the motivation to get back in. But Is that true, though, the guys? You're you're not the biggest fan of WWE 2K24, anyways, you know. I mean, I didn't like what fair Pat to say, did. Fair to say. Okay, fair enough. Fair. But yeah, but fair. I mean, Brian did get me into the my faction stuff, unfortunately. Oh, so no. I was having some let's fun not, with that. Let's not blame. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, Kiro, let me know how you feeling on this news, sir. Uh, Pat McAfee is about to be gone. How you feeling? Well, I'm not surprised. I was surprised because, well, because of this, it was like kind of sudden for me, out of nowhere. I think he just literally, uh, when Raw was going on, announced that he was leaving. We didn't know it beforehand. So the suddenness of it is surprising. But the fact that it's happening, it's not surprising because he did this already last year, if I remember correctly. When the football season was starting up, it might have been even the same program that he's going to you know, do mm -hmm. this year. He said, I'm, I'm going to leave for that. And... Again, that's also something that doesn't shock me because Pat McAfee comes from football. You know, that's his first 100%. love. So no wonder he's going to leave wrestling a little bit uh, behind and go for that. And I'm a bit on Camp Kenny on this. Although I don't hate him that much, I do feel like he does make some things fun. I 100% agree that he overdoes stuff. And I especially got angry uh, when... Yeah, when he comes out there, like even in Drew McIntyre's entries or something like that, he was dancing for Seth Rollins doing the whoa, whoa stuff. Like Drew was looking at him. I, I, this was like at WrestleMania. It's like, get down from the table, bro. Like, what are you doing? The show is not about you. You're supposed to be selling the fights, selling everything that's going on in the ring mm. and not selling yourself. Mm. You know, you're a background character. And I don't mean that to be demeaning. That's literally his job. And well, Your role. Yeah, your role. Know your role. Know your role. And keep your mind running. I guess you're a commentator. But uh, Pat McAfee <laughs> leaving, I don't look at this as a positive immediately because the guy that they're going to bring in to replace him, <laughs> he might be worse. You know, we have had much mm -hmm. worse, certainly much worse than Pat McAfee. So if they're bringing in somebody better, then I'm okay with it. If, if they're not, I might be missing Pat McAfee for all the wrong reasons. Right. Very, very true. Joe Tessitore is the commentator Whoa. that is going to start uh, for uh, Monday Night Raw. So that is going to be uh, an interesting one. We'll see how that goes. We've heard good things about him. At least I have. I don't really know what else he gets into. I don't know what else he's really uh, commentated. I do know that he was an ESPN commentator. So that experience is definitely there. So we'll have to see what happens. Aside from that, though, man, Pat McAfee, just to uh, go on and, and go on to a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but Pat McAfee, just to go on to a uh, just a few things, Pat McAfee, like I'm, I'm kind of glad that he's that he's gone. Wow! Just because it's it started to seem like he wasn't 
fact checking what he was saying a lot of times he had to be corrected on the announce table it almost sounded like he wasn't keeping up with the product and he was just winging things on the go nonetheless pat mcafee is a very energetic announcer i just think that he might have been too energetic uh for the commentating for the commentating table and i think that was part of the problem that was happening with pat mcafee the whole like talking during people's entrances and promos and it was just a little too much for me personally and i am a, a pat mcafee fan i like how he does things but i think he would probably be better in like a in a booth where it's just more than that consists more than two people where he can just chime in and not just be one of the main characters there. Well, Brian, I quickly pulled up on Google. Obviously, this is surface level stuff, but mm -hmm. this is how Joe Tessitore looks like, and I guess he was a commentator for ESPN. <laughs> Why does he look scared? I don't know. Yeah, that's my. That was like the Green Ranger too. <laughs> Do you guys know Hide the Pain Harold, like the old man with the smile? Let me see. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. The old man, like holding there he glass. Is, there he is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of looks like that a little bit. But what he looks like. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Like, does he have any WWE background? Because from the way it looks. He no, no. He doesn't have no WWE background. I'll tell you that. He better have been watching that. the product because if he hasn't been, these oh, people he's gonna are going to cook him. He's going to get ran right. up out of there quick. Yeah, IWC like, is super ruthless, so ruthless. I hope these guys know what they're signing this, themselves up for because mm -hmm. Pat McAfee got it, and he's pretty well respected in the WWE side of things. Yeah, well, I, I think he respected the product, he respected the business, and he was smart enough to always, like, uh, when he's talking in Triple H, any wrestler really, even though we talked about him, you know, doing too much, he always downplayed himself and said, you know, I know nothing about these uh, These guys are tough. He actually, Pat McAfee, now that I think yeah. about it, he went in there and trained with a great name. I, I can't remember who trained him right now, but like it was a very well-known name. Like he knows his stuff way more than any other you know commentator. I, I would put him like yeah, like he belongs there with uh, I'd say uh, Corey Graves, Michael Cole and like because he actually mm -hmm. went in there and did that. So he has more experience than you might think when you hear him because on the commentary he seems like uh like just knowing about wrestling in general and being Are you talking about Pat, right? Pat, yeah. I thought you said yeah, Pat. Yeah, yeah. Mm. No, yeah, I can't say he doesn't know about his stuff, but I just feel like he just doesn't know his role. That's my big problem with him. Yeah, yeah, I agree, I agree. But I was going to say like he makes it seem like he's that friend who doesn't watch wrestling too much and is like mm -hmm. he's along for the ride. I, I guess he fooled me to that, you know, like for a, for a while. But no, when you think about it, he does know his stuff, you know. He even went into the yeah. ring and wrestled. Uh, I'm just wondering what Joe Tessitore, Mr. Tessitore, is going to bring to the table. Like, I, I guess he's going to be with Michael Cole. Can he do color commentary? Oh, Michael Cole, looks, I don't know. Mm. This guy looks That's serious. big to shoes me. to fill. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, so, but I mean, are the people fans of Pat McAfee? That's what's really important. Let us know in the comment section. How do y'all feel about Pat McAfee getting up out of here? Do you love it like me? Are you in the middle like Kittle? Or are you sad and depressed like Brian? Let us know. <laughs> Kiss the ring. <laughs>